In a recent video, we showed you some cool things you could do if you were running Cyanogen mod and had an NFC enabled phone, switching profiles and well, some other cool stuff. But what if you're not running a custom ROM? What cool things can you do with NFC chips? I'm Joe Levi, this is Pocket Now. Let's go take a look. So the first thing that I want to mention is not all NFC stickers or tags are created equal. This one over here cost me about a dollar and a quarter, dollar and a half. It is, uh, I paid a little bit more because it's an outdoor compatible uh, sticker. So you peel off the backing and you have a nice adhesive back there. It's kind of tacky, not too much, but it sticks really well. And on the front, you have this nice vinyl cover. You can kind of see, it's probably not going to show through on the video. You can see where the uh, microchip is, kind of where the traces to the antenna are. And it's a little bit flexible. So if you wanted to put it on a curved surface, you could do that. Now, this overall is very nice, except the chip that's inside it can only handle up to 46 bytes. Not kilobytes bytes relatively small still you can do cool stuff with it you can put cyanogen mod profiles on it like we showed you in the last video if you missed that click the link right there but you can't put say a business card other than some very basic information web url not a problem plain text as long as it's not too much your business card if it's a really basic one you bet what you need is something a little bit more beefy than that. That's what this is. It's uh, essentially the same thing. Again, a sticky back, just like that. This is a hard kind of PVC. It's got a nice Android logo on it, and this one comes from tagsfordroid.com. About the same price, a dollar and a half a piece here, but this, not flexible in the slightest, has all the stuff inside. It should be a little bit more durable because it's not as thin as the vinyl covered one over here, but it also can carry up to 716 bytes. Again, that's bytes. Now I ran into some issues putting my business card over on here, my V card, because it's got a picture associated with it. You know, when people call, I like to see their picture. That's because it's part of my contact or their contact information in my phone. Well, my contact, I want to do the same thing, but pictures are too big. Uh, in fact, with my picture, it was about 7,300 bytes, a little bit more than that. So as long as I take my picture out, I'm great, can do it just fine. So let's see what kinds of cool things we can do. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to put this one aside and we'll just use this uh, new fangled one. But we're going to need an app. There are two apps that I want to show you today. The first one is called Tag Writer. We'll go right into that. And it essentially does exactly what you'd expect it to do. It has, uh, I'm actually in the professional view right now, which gives me a few more menu options. You can toggle that by going into your preferences. But I can scan a QR code and convert that into an NFC data set and then store that to an NFC chip. Kind of cool. I can share an NFC data set, just device to device. I can look at the history of what I've done. I've got some tools. Tools are really helpful because I can erase, I can full erase, I can do all kinds of stuff. Full erase is the same as erase, but it overwrites with random data. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I've written something onto that. Let's securely erase the content and just do that. Keep it right there. It erases and overwrites, I believe three or four times and reinitializes the, uh, the chip. Now you see that this is a MyFair tag. That's the type. It does have 716 bytes, and the uh, the previous content was something else, which I don't even know what that is. But we're all done. Very cool. These chips come unformatted. So just like a floppy disk way back in the day that we had to format, you may want to come in here. I just do an erase, and that initializes it, and everything has been just fine. A couple things otherwise that you can do. Once you've got a an NFC chip programmed, you may want to write protect that. There are a couple ways that you can do it. You can either do a soft protect, which is simply setting it as uh, read only. It's like on your computer, you've got that read only flag on your file attributes. Well, if you want to write to it, you just take that check mark out and update it and you're done. 
So that's what that is. You can reuse the chips over and over and over again, but it's going to have an extra level of protection that says, hey, this is right protected. Are you sure you want to override it? Well, yes, okay. And then it does it. And then you've got permanent protect. Permanent is permanent. It will lock the contents permanently into read only. They cannot be changed at all. If you're distributing these, you may want to do that permanent, but I'd recommend you experiment first before you go in and, and do some permanent stuff because the tags aren't cheap. And then of course we have clean, so you can just factory reset uh, the tag right there. And that's in the tools menu. So over here we can read and view the content from an NFC enabled item. Let's do that with the tag that we just erased. Let's see what it says. Content is empty, just like that. All right. So we could read something else or we can move on to something else. We'll move on. Let's go ahead and create and write. We'll open this up. You can see some of the stuff that I've done. Okay. And here is my contact. I've already created this. So let's go ahead and tap that. I can write multiple times. I can protect it. I can choose if I want to confirm the overwrite, which is kind of just a pain. And then it goes an extra step further. It says, based on this, which is 713 bytes, it'll work on any one of these. The MyFair Classic 1K, which is what I'm using. The uh, Desfire, which holds a bit more. The uh, MyFair Classic 4K, yada, 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 and on and on and on. If I wanted to put my picture in my business card, I could use this, which is uh, 7.6K, roughly. I don't have that, they're more expensive, so we're just gonna use that one. But it's nice that this program tells you what chips you can write to and which ones you can't. For example, let me come back to this other one. Remember that one, really small? Let's go ahead and try and write to it. So we'll say next, got my sticker down there, put that there and nope, can't do it. Uh, store failed because I, I don't know. It doesn't tell us. So let's go ahead and try that again. Come back over here. We'll write this next. See if it gives us a better message this time around. And right there, store failed because the data set is too large. So this was not initialized first. When I set it up and tried and it failed, it initialized the chip, write it again, which we did there. And it said, oh, hey, oh no, you can't do that because it's too big. Okay. So let's go to a bigger chip, that's that one, and let's go back and write the contact again. This will take a minute because it's a little bit bigger, but there you go. It's already in there and everything's great. Now, when I scan this, put my phone on it again, I don't have to run any app, I just have to have NFC turned on. Of course, I have to have an NFC enabled device to be able to do that, but it will then ask me which address book I want to store this in. I have two address books, my Gmail and my uh, exchange server. So it'll ask me which one and then right there, I've got that business card already put in. So really kind of nice. Let's go ahead and erase this again. Uh, that's under tools. So in tools, we're just going to do a, uh, a quick erase. Do that. And just like that, it's erased. It does back up the content. So if you did that on accident, you can quickly and easily restore it. Really kind of nice. But that's not the coolest thing. You can go ahead and do other stuff. If I can get back in there for you. If we want to go to joelevi.com, we can write joelevi.com as a URL. Just like that. And then when I come in here and scan that, it automatically fires my browser and puts that URL in the address bar, launches it up for me just fine. I don't have Wi-Fi turned on, so it's taken a little bit longer to do that. Overall, pretty cool. You can also go in and do some uh, some other cool stuff. Uh, you can see down here, I've put in a different contact. I put in some plain text. I was sending that to my wife. Wasn't that sweet of me? And uh, just, you know, other cool stuff. But there's something else really cool that I want to show you, and that's another app.